was just uh, that's suffering. After seeing this, I don't know how am I gonna eat. I'm gonna throw up. Right? You should be vegan then, because it's. No. If, we, if you can't watch it, you should not eat it. So, a vegan is someone who doesn't use any products that exploit or cause the rights violations of animals like meat, dairy, eggs, uh, fur, leather, things like this. That's what a vegan does. I am now. I don't hurt animals. So, you don't eat animals? I eat fish. Yeah, fish is an animal? You don't eat fish, you don't eat an we, anything animal. You don't use animals, uh, use any products from animals, okay. because we feel the best way to respect animals is to first leave them alone. You know what sentient means? Like sentient, sentient uh, like conscious. You know, like how yeah, you and I, we... Feelings, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, yeah. We have, a conscious, we have a conscious experience. Mm -hmm. So what happens to us, if something happens to us, it matters to us. These sea animals, they also have their own conscious experience. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not like a human, but they have their own... Like, they feel pain and they suffer and they feel well-being and things like this. We're saying to people, if we can live without causing... Harm to them. ...this killing to them and this suffering, this, this misery, then we should. <laughs> What are they doing to that? Give They're the, inseminating her with semen. Huh? So get the semen out of the bull, and then they put it into the female, and then they take her calf away. This is a dairy industry standard practice. So they breed the, the them like. Yeah. So he stick his fist in her ass to hold the cervix and put the semen in her vagina, and then they they take her calf away when they're born. And their boys, they separate. They take them to the slaughterhouse. They used to shoot them on the farm, but now they just send them to the slaughterhouse because they don't produce milk. So the dairy industry don't really use them. So they send them to be slaughtered for a veal or... Yeah, slaughterhouses aren't good places, mate, eh? Very neat practice in England, it's not England, is it? Yeah, England... Uh, They're not English. Uh, one sec. This is the UK here. Yeah. UK, Norfolk, okay. Yeah, Norfolk. This is a mixture between Australia and UK footage. They're pretty on par with their standards anyway. So but the their cattle being killed then are <laughs> English or Australian, yeah. The dairy footage is from Australia. I've got my own cattle footage from here. I filmed it myself. That's a dairy farm. I found these calves in the bin, I chucked them in the bin. They keep the females uh, in these little hutches imprisoned away from their mums. And their mums are maternal animals, like they've got a maternal instinct for their, their children. And they exploit them for the milk. And then they, when they've had about, I think on average, about four cycles or four, four pregnancies, four or five pregnancies, they'll slaughter them, mince them up for burgers. They use them until they don't want them anymore. Then they kill them and feed them to people. This happens a lot, man. Me and my team, we filmed one ourselves as a local family run slaughterhouse and the cow was trying to rip, they ripped their own horns off trying to escape the knockbox because they didn't want to get shot in the head. The guy just grabs him by the nose, shoots him in the head, cuts their head off while they're still flailing around. Like, this is just so people can eat meat. You know what I mean? I'm going to throw up, that. It's not good, bro. No, that's a bit cruel. That's yeah. Really cool. You know, they're being killed for meat. What? should do it in the least humane way possible. Yeah, so what do you think about that? Do you think you can um, kill someone in a humane way if they don't want to die? Do you believe these are someone and not things? I believe they're animals. I don't know if they've got souls or... I, they're animals that, you, you know, we're humans. I, it's been that chain and every top of the food It's chain. been that way for a long time. You, you know, I, don't get me wrong, that's despicable. Like, you, you, you know, that's really bad. I think all the money they're making, they'd be able to put it into better practices, like, you know, if doing it just to save money or... Well, they, well, they're doing it to meet the demand. That's why we talk to the consumer, because they, consumers make up the demand. They're putting this into practice, basically. So we ask people to boycott their support for these industries and to yeah. live vegan. Good people like, like yourself that go into the supermarket, give your money straight to these people. And we are asking people to stop, uh, stop paying for it and then be vegan. You sell it this on what to do it? We're just saying to people, don't buy the meat, don't buy the eggs, don't buy the, the don't milk. Don't buy. Don't buy. Why? Well, dirty. Is this what it does? Uh, uh, are you vegetarian? Vegan. Are oh, you vegan? You know vegan? Of course, I'm the restaurant keeper, I know. You have a re vegan uh, when it, option? When I serve it. You serve it, yeah? Yeah, of course, okay. the vegan. We have a vegan meat as well. Yeah. You know, vegan chicken, we have vegan beef, vegan burgers, yeah, vegan, yeah. vegan ice cream. 
Yeah. Because they kill the dairy cows as well, you know, they exploit and kill them and they exploit and kill the, the egg laying hens as well. Oh. And they take them to the slaughterhouse, yeah. So that means you're not supposed to even eat egg? Anything from an animal, they exploit and kill those animals. Wow. That's a vegan. A vegan avoids animal All use. those things. Yeah. That's a good one. All I'm saying is we don't need to do it, bro. You don't need to eat meat. You're doing a, a better thing for animals if you don't eat them than if you eat them. We don't need to do this, this is what I'm saying. We can live vegan, we can get vegan food, we can. We don't have to do this to these animals. This is an egg industry. They ki the males don't lay eggs, so they kill them on their first day of life. Sometimes with a macerator, this is a big blender. They're still alive here. Why are they doing them like that? Quick way to kill them. Disgusting, no? They're males, they don't lay eggs. They only use the females in the egg industry, the ones that lay eggs, males don't. So they, when they hatch, they separate them into male and female, kill the males. In the UK, they gas the males. This is an egg farm. And they're pushing egg, egg, egg every single day because they've been bred to lay more eggs. So they push so many out, they've got no calcium left in their bodies and they die on, the, on their faces in these egg farms. Free range is no better. This is free range, look at this. Free range eggs, one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen is in free range egg farms. It's just sick places, man. They, they go crazy in there and there's just dead birds everywhere, dying birds. Just for eggs when we can have a, you can scramble tofu, you can scramble, um, we've got vegan egg now. Don't look away if you pay for this. Do they pay for it? Yeah, so every consumer has accountability when they go into the supermarket and they take it off the shelf, they replace it with slaughtered animals. So we, we, we preach for personal control and change. Like, we want people to change themselves so they stop contributing. To change the narrative about their lifestyle. Change the supply chain. Oh, 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 that's great. One the last is watching them. Do this? And he's going to judge them? He's gonna, yes, he's going to judge and, them. And what about the people who pay for this to happen? The, the people who go to the store? No, no, no. But we did not know that. We did not but you know now. You know now, brother, okay. don't you? Now we know. You know now. Now we know. Thank you so much. So what about this um, new meat? Lab-grown? Yeah, lab-grown meat. Yeah, I'm, I'm for it. For, uh, yeah? Uh, pr pr provided they're not harming animals to get it, which I don't yeah. think they are. They take, a, they take a cell, they take... Oh, yeah. It's like plant-based medium, and they grow an infinite amount of meat from them. But right now, you, it's, it's much better, of course. Definitely. And, uh, but right now, you can get plant-based meats, you can get plant-based food, are vegan meats. The video there? Is that you? Yeah, that's me, yeah. Yeah, I've been investigated for a few years now and I've been an activist since I went vegan, really, but I've um, been, been vegan nearly 10 years. Oh, fair play, Tim. Yeah, brother. Doing a good thing. You should be vegan too, bro. It's good for the animals, bro. Yeah. You had an emotional response, you, you care. We're just, just trying to show people, you know what I mean? People that actually care about it, you know what I mean? This is a sanctuary, they rescue uh, animals. They rescue them from the meat industry from, you know? This is nice. Yeah. Killing an animal is not going to justify suffering in any sort of way. They will still suffer, but they will suffer for a less amount of time. This, this ah, is that's suffering. Where they just slit their throats and just let them die like that. No, this, that is a, does that. this is what, exactly what happens in every animals? single okay, slaughterhouse. We don't bro. eat pigs, though. Hmm? Yeah, no, I'm not saying that, but, you, yeah, you, you, but, but cows and uh, lambs, they suffer when they get their throats slashed open. Well, yeah, I can't do nothing but cutting the throat. Halal, yeah, halal. Yeah, halal. After halal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Halal slaughter is not good. This is not good. When you don't stun a cow and you slash their throat open, they try to breathe through their, their neck and they suffer for like a minute before they die. And I'm saying it's needless. Halal, they, they just slash the throat open. Listen, we don't have no choice, though. You can't we do have a choice. We can't resist. Hey, you're, you're yeah, listen, listen, that's what I'm saying. Apart from the vegan food and the vegetarian food. Exactly, so you do have a choice. Yeah, that's a choice, that's a choice. You do it's have a choice. You can find everywhere, is it? I've been vegan ten, nearly 10 years. Oh, I've never had a problem not being vegan, no matter where I travel. I see yeah. the new McDonald's. Yeah, it's That good. is banging. You know, I don't get uh, nothing else McDonald's apart from that. It's good, eh? Hey? It's good, yeah. It's good. That's, that's and it's halal. halal. Yeah, and and with, with, with vegan, halal with vegan, you, you don't have to worry about halal. It's all halal except for alcohol. I yeah. Yeah. And you have to worry about the suffering in the industrial farming, which didn't exist back when the when the Quran was written. You never seen this kind of thing before? Do you know why? You don't want us to. They don't want you to see it. Because it's a business, man. They want you to see green grass. They want you to see this, the pictures of the steak and the meat. They want people to think vegans are crazy. This is secretly filmed stuff. That's called musing. What he's doing, this is in the wool industry in Australia, and most of the wool people wear overseas comes from Australia. They're cutting off their tails and their, their backside so they don't get something called fly strike, which happens to sheep out in the fields. It's like an infection, um, they get maggots. Why do you f***ing beat me? It's just shearing, they just become rough. And so the higher volume of sheep they're shearing and then it's become brutal. This is what men do in these industries because they're, some men are just pricks, aren't they? They're a bit violent and they get frustrated. After seeing this, I don't know how I'm gonna eat. Egg industry, dairy industry, fishing industry, meat, pork, all of the 
It's a product of suffering violence and these animals have their right to life for violated, taken from them. They get murdered for, for, for a sandwich. So we can have a quick sandwich, we forget about it. It's here today, gone tomorrow. We don't. We can live without it, and this is what they have to go through. It's a sheep, sheep slaughter. It's, it's sticking out electrodes in them to, to stun them. So That's how I felt when I first seen it, man. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. I've never said that before. Thank you. Some people say that, some people say, oh, bacon, some people say, oh, they're only animals, you know, some people, they don't care. You care, but you probably can't believe that other people don't, but there's a lot of people that just don't give a shit, man, eh? Oh, he can, she can see that and say, oh, it's nice. Yeah, I get it a lot. You got a heart, man, I can tell. You're one of the good ones, bro. I've been eating meat all my life, but... Yeah, no. Honestly, it's my first time I've seen something like this. First time. I've been hearing a lot about vegans and vegetarians and stuff, but this one, I am seeing for the first time. What they're doing with the Now you know why we're vegan now. That's what vegan means. It means you're against this. We want animals to have rights to protect them from being exploited and having their heads cut off and Vegan is like, it's a principle that you hold that, that emanates out to all industries that exploit animals. So what you wear, entertainment, we don't want it to be used in bullfighting, greyhound racing, all industries that exploit, use animals and kill them, we're against, that's a vegan. The vegetarian just doesn't eat meat, but veganism is a philosophy. It's like being against racism, it's like being against, you know what I mean? It's, we're against animal, yeah, yeah. Thank be vegan, so brother. Much, man. Do you think people can love and care for animals while they're eating them at the same time? Do you think they can care and love for animals and eat them? No, mm. you don't understand. You have changed my mind. Mm. So that's one thing you've done good. So I can talk about it. I said, oh, if I have eaten any animal right now, my orientation and my narrative have changed. I'm not more going to eat animals, but I'm going to love them and care for them. <laughs> That's it. Very good.